what's going on guys we're back at it with another one and today we just have a short how-to video for you and we will be throwing a 12 foot quarter inch cracker cast net these cast nets are super big super heavy and i am definitely not the tallest guy out there so throwing a 12 foot net is very very difficult for me and i'm going to show you the technique that i learned that seems to be the easiest and most consistent way to throw one of these bigger nets so let's get into it we have our cast net here and i'm going to show you exactly how to throw one of these giant 12 foot super heavy cast nets so we're going to start by just putting the line into our hands just small little folds or you could do coils into your hand whatever you're more comfortable with for whatever reason i just tend to do these folds and it doesn't seem to affect the performance and you want to leave like just about a foot maybe a little bit more 14 inches of this rope and we're gonna pull up on our line here and we're gonna pull up on our horn bring the net back and we just want to make sure that it's not all tangled up because the last thing you want to do is to have to throw this big heavy cast net multiple times and we're just gonna separate the leads. I kind of just spread it out. We just saw that the lead line is not tangled up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up on the horn, stretch her back out again. I'm gonna grab the net with my right hand about, I don't know, a foot and a half from the horn down. I'm going to have to grab the net a second time. There's no way I could hold the net up this high. So about waist height, you wanna keep everything with the cast net about waist height. We're going to grab the net and we're going to bring it. We're gonna bring the lead line towards my body behind my right hand and grab the cast net just like that. So we're gonna have a bunch of net in our hand. It's already pretty heavy. Next step is I'm going to reach down, grab the net, and we're going to keep on bundling up in our hand about a third of the net or so. Eh, something like that. And we're going to fold it over towards the front of our hand. So the leads will be towards the front. And we're going to tuck the rest of that net under our thumb. Next step is going to be to reach down, grab a lead, and we're going to bring the lead line again towards the front of our right hand. And we're going to tuck that rope right under our thumb. After that, we're going to reach down, grab the rope just with my thumb like that. And when we throw the net, the weight of the net should project this part of the net out of my thumb and open it up all the way. And now that we have the cast net all loaded up, I'm gonna show you, you want your hip, your waistline, in line with the target, with the uh, school bait fish or an area that you want a cast net. So just make sure you keep your left hip in line with where you want the net to go. It's not all about spinning open the cast net. It's about being very fluent with it, a fluent action. We want to throw the net up and out so it has a chance to open up all the way. We're going to show you what I mean. The net just about opened up all the way. Again, it's a little tough for me because I'm a shorter guy to swing this huge net around. But if I don't know if you could see down there, the net pretty much opened up all the way. But let's check out to see how well I did. I could already see from the surface here. You could see the net. Uh, it's a little, didn't open up all the way here on the left hand side. But definitely the rest of the net is totally open. So we would have got a pretty decent amount of pilchards or herring, whatever we were throwing on. Enough to fill the live wells for a really good day of snook fishing or offshore fishing, whatever you want to use the live bait for. Let's see an underwater view of how the net opened up. And that is the easiest way I have found to throw a large cast net. And hopefully this video helped you guys to see how to throw a cast net, get a lot of bait, and have a great day out in the water with family and friends. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And my friends, always stay fishing, and we'll see you on the next one.